tonight. The wait is finally over. Lloyd Minster's Ahmadiyya Muslim community celebrates a new mosque. Plus, we exceeded all our expectations for sure. Thousands of dollars granted to local organizations ahead of Christmas. This is UCAP News with Gina Martin. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community is hoping its new mosque will provide a fresh perspective on what their culture is all about. An open, at an out open house today, people of all faiths had an opportunity to learn more about the mosque's practices and traditions. Josh Ryan was there and has more. We invited all the people to this open house so that they could come and visit. The Ahmadiyya Mosque offered shelter from cold Sunday weather and a chance to help bring about understanding. We feel that once we learn about each other's faiths, that's when, you know, misunderstandings and fears are removed. We, f we see that there are more commonalities among us, between us, than there are differences. The mosque's open house gave people like Krista Holden and her family a tour of the building and some insight into different aspects of Islam. And we thought it was nice that there was an open house so that we could come and sort of learn more about um, the mosque and just um, some of our community members. It's keeping in spirit with the Lloydminster Ahmadiyya community and what was learned from His Holiness the Caliph just three weeks ago. His Holiness pointed out that mosques are open for everyone, everyone should feel welcome, and uh, mosques are beacons of peace, to love and harmony. Some of the talking points included community service and women's rights. There are verses quoted here that clearly state that men and women are absolutely equal in the sight of God and it is, you know, um, people in this world that make the differentiation, not the religion. Azim says he's been encouraged by the responses he's received at events like the open house. Every single time, I, you know, I can relate to countless uh, incidents where people come up to us uh, and, you know, appreciate what we are doing and they say that they have never seen this picture of Islam before. When we don't understand things, we can be fearful of things. So I think this is a wonderful opportunity for people to come and to learn um, so that we can understand each other because at the end of the day, we're all human beings, right? And, and for all unable to make it on Sunday, Azim says they're welcome at any time to have a tour in the future. Everyone is welcome to uh, visit us, learn from us, share their faith with us. We'd be more than happy to do that. Three local not-for-profit organizations got a welcomed boost ahead of the holidays. The border town Harley Owners Group su successfully raised over $63,000 in cash and around $5,000 in toys, which will be dispersed between Big Brothers Big Sisters, Kids Sport, and the Lloydminster Youth Center. And despite this being the sixth annual toy run, the amount of support left many speechless. We were really surprised this year. We, we know that uh, the economic situation in the area is, is down a little bit for sure, and we, uh, the, the total raise this year exceeded all our expectations for sure. Getty says these three groups are all focused on providing support to less fortunate kids, and these agencies already have plans for the funding. This year we've seen such a dramatic increase in the financial uh, need of families and to get kids out into the field, into the court, onto the ice. So without their major contribution, they are one of our major sponsors throughout the year. It would be uh, near impossible to do what we do on a yearly basis. We use it to support all the programs that we run in our agency and Big Brothers Big Sisters. And with times being the way they are, funding is tight. So we do truly appreciate it. It makes a huge difference. We run our breakfast program every day and uh, and our lunch program. So just kids that might not otherwise get breakfast and lunch now receive it. The Border Town Hogs say they are already planning for their toy run next year and plan to continue the fundraiser for years to come.